Greetings, brothers and sisters of the human race. This is Emilio from WITV, where it takes a village. And you know what? We don't always hear what's going on inside the village because that type of news don't always get out because it is bought and paid for by somebody else who doesn't have your interest at stake. So look, we're talking about racism and allegations that are going on in D.C. Fire Department, engine number 30. We need your voice and your support. Log in. Let us know what you think. Listen to what people had to say. We tried to get the opinion from the fire department, but they wouldn't interview with us on camera. You, mayor, and city council teamed up together can bring about an end to racism in the police and fire department. that I'm seeing coming to me is in black and white, but I'm fighting against that because right. I know that's, that's, that's not what it's about. We need the division uh, between all kinds of people to make sure that they can keep us closed, ignorant, frightened, and alone and divided. But we are not going to stand for it. As you can see here, we have people of all ill out here standing for justice. Um, my friends from the Green Party, my friends from the Muslim community, and people from this community are here standing up and saying to the people in Engine 30, fired up, we're not taking it anymore. We're 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 fired up, we're not taking it anymore. These, these folks here at this station think that we're gonna take it. They come deep in our community. Now you talk about brazen, brazen. I feel the same way that John Brown felt. John Brown said you should crack the jaw of racism. And that's what needs to happen. That the biological concept of race is bankrupt. This concept of race comes from the invention of the white race. Who invented the white race? Don't believe me, look it up. You can Google The Invention of the White Race. It's a book by Theodore Allen written in the early 90s. And that led to the most brutal form of slavery of the African people. But that was the roots of what we're facing right here in this, uh, in this uh, firehouse. Because white skin privilege is the heritage of that invention of the white race. Peace be unto you and power to the people. And we want to talk about this fire department today. And we want to talk about a mayor and a city council today. A mayor who said that he has a position of neutrality. And we want to tell you that there is no neutral position on racism. Because when you say neutral, that tells me that you found a place of comfort. But fighting Racism and fighting injustice is a place of discomfort. And this is what we want to make them very uncomfortable today with doing a thing called racism in this community. But we have to understand something clearly, that this city council is in a position to do something about racism in the fire department, racism in the police department. We are in a position to change the, uh, the uh, uh, cosmetic makeup of the city, the cosmetic makeup of the leadership in the city. You got a fire chief and a commander comes in here and they take from the community a fat check out to the vanilla suburbs, right? Right. Now what are they giving back to the, to the community? A deer, as this brother was explaining, a, 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 the head of a deer, you behead the deer and hang a, a noose around the neck with a gold medallion and a silver medallion and you put holes in the earring, turn the hat backwards, and try to imitate. So you're making mockery in the black community. Yep. That's why you don't see them putting no bingo games here. You don't see no bingo games across the street. So I come here to fight the war against racism in a fire department who think we're going to tolerate this type of stupidity in 2008. Mr. Clement, his wife, his family, my family and the Muslims, others are going to fight Racism. We're going to stop our racism. We're going to use this police officer right here and get us to help to stop our racism. It's coming from right here in this community. 
We have to put an end to racism if we want something done about it. Yes, Mayor, you teamed up with the citizens as you promised can bring an end to racism in the fire department. I just want you to know that somebody is conscious in this black community and we are going to change this. We're going to bring the mayor out to, to account for this. What do you want? Just that. When do you want it? Now. What do you want? Just that. When do you want it? Now. And tell me how you want it? By any means necessary. Justice anywhere is a threat to justice. This provocative tour, this on the corner over here, he walks through this neighborhood with an artificial badge. He claims to be a police officer. He's not a police officer. He stood up with feet one day and was talking about niggas this and niggas that, trying to provoke me into knocking his.